up you guys welcome back to new jack city today we are talking about uh, kanye west donald trump and nick fuentes so let me read this real quick social media reacts to kanye west being seen with nick fuentes on their way to donald trump's mar-a-lago incredibly sad let me read uh what these uh tweets actually said because some of them are kind of funny but i'm not surprised i tell you that I'm not surprised at all. Kanye, Kanye can literally, he can't even surprise me anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, so Benjamin said, he tweeted out, laugh aloud, at Kanye West is really out here in matching outfits and catching flights with Nick Fuentes, the white nationalist who called black voters the N-I-G-G-E-R vote, which he did. We gonna get into it. We gonna touch on this. Uh, Meredith McGraw, she tweeted out, According to a source, far-right extremist Nick Fuentes was spotted with Kanye West at Mar-a-Lago. West, at Mar-a-Lago. West tweeted, last night he met with Trump at the club. West and Fuentes were also together at Miami Airport. Uh, Rick tweeted out, Kanye West going from Bush hates black people after Katrina to flying to Malargo with Nick Fuentes of all people is quite the 17-year journey. That's a fact. <laughs> no cap, bro. Uh, real political data tweeted out Kanye West running for president in 2024 with Nick Fuentes and Milo, whatever his last name is, as advisors wasn't wasn't on my bingo card. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Tommy. That's all I'm gonna say. Tommy. Tommy tweeted out for Kanye fans. This is the darkest timeline possible. There's no hope standing. Uh, standing Kanye when he's moving with bad faith actors such as Nick Fuentes. He is one of the most notorious right-wing activists I've ever had the misfortune of learning about. And then Claire tweeted out, Nick Fuentes denied the Holocaust and made a video using cookies as metaphors for Jews and and proved you can't bake that many cookies in the oven. Okay, that was that, right? And then let me uh, tell y'all this. He's also, um, Kanye is also still beefing with Adidas. So Adidas reportedly will launch an investigation following Rolling Stone's report that Kanye West showed pornography to employees. And he also showed nude photos uh, with Kim Kardashian. So let's tap in. Let me let me touch this real quick. Kanye West being with Nick Fuentes, who's an extreme uh, right wing, is not surprising. I believe that we have lost Kanye a long time ago, and Kanye does not care about black people. He cares about his pockets. He cares about his um. He cares about uh, his legacy. Well, no, actually, he doesn't care about his legacy because if he did, he wouldn't be angry when they point it. So, but he cares about his money and he cares about his future and when it comes to uh, his clothes and you know his music and stuff like that. I believe that. Kanye West is one of the he's the boy who cried wolf right so the wolf is the what he calls the you know the higher ups and he's the boy who wants to throw rocks at the wolf and then hide behind black people and be like see this is how they treat us and all this other stuff and then when black people are not going arms uh, you know going going to bat for him and stuff like that like we were with Kyrie Irving He's like, oh, F y'all, I'm going to be with them because these are the these are the people I really want to be with. I don't want to be with y'all anymore. I really want to be with them. These are the billionaire people. I'm a billionaire, so I should be with, um, in the same group as well. That's what he's thinking. He wants to be around billionaire people and billionaire and want to have billionaire friends. Friends. This is one of the reasons why I think he aligned himself with Candace Owens. Candace Owens, I, this is one of the reasons why I believe he's with Nick Fuentes right now because anyone in their right mind knows why in the hell would I pair up with Candace Owens, who is a puppet for the for the uh, the Republican Party, and then Nick Fuentes, who's a right winger that nobody likes, even Jewish people don't like him. I don't even know he talked about that with the uh, about the whole Holocaust stuff and re- comparing Jewish people to for cookies and that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Why would you want to like? And then on top of that, him talking about he wants to run for president in 2024, I told y'all in my TikTok video, and I will say it on this video, 
if this dude actually wins i have no faith in america and i am definitely probably you leaving the united states i'm gonna be on it imagine this crazy dude bro remember his uh presidential run uh when trump was going which i thought was a joke but i guess was real remember he started crying out of nowhere y'all want him to y'all want him to be the uh the leader of the free world really <laughs> we better off with trump i'm gonna be 100 actually this is a question for y'all too if y'all had kanye west running for president it will it, it went down from kanye west to donald trump who are y'all choosing I'm gonna be 100. I'm choosing Donald. I'm choosing Donald Trump. And I told y'all, even if it went from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, I just wouldn't vote because I wouldn't care. But if it's between those two, I'm doing the smarter per I'm going for Donald Trump. There is no way in this lifetime I would ever vote for Kanye West. He is too unstable. He only cares about himself. And on top, and you know what's funny? He even said, I forgot to tell y'all. So he said in an interview, I guess. The reason why he wants to run for president is for him. He said, because he tried to, and that, Kanye is such an idiot. He thinks we're dumb. He thinks we're dumb. So Kanye West says that the reason why he wants to run for president is because Adidas somehow was able to freeze his account in JP Morgan Chase, and he wasn't able to spend his $75 million because they froze four accounts, and he wasn't able to use his Apple Pay. So he said, I want to run for president because if they can do something like that to me, who's never hurt anybody and just said that, you know, the, uh, he was going to go death con on the Jews or whatever, and they can do that to me or to him, who's never done anything, uh, imagine what they can do to the regular American citizen. And it's like, bro, you're trying to mask it like you're trying to be like this, you know, free this this person for the people, but you're not, bro. You only care about yourself. <laughs> You're not trying to do it for the regular for regular people because first off, regular people don't have to deal with stuff like that because regular people wouldn't say stuff like that. Who in their right mind would say, I'm going to go death count on the Jews? And with that being said, Adidas, if that is true, what they did, that's not right at all. And I don't think and it wasn't right about JP Morgan Chase freezing four of his four of his accounts so he can get um, access to his money. That's not right at all. But stop trying to act like you doing it for the people like you trying to help the people out and stuff like that no bro you only care about yourself and anybody who votes for kanye west and believes anything that he is saying right now he's proven it to you by there's a saying right it says uh i forgot what the saying goes um damn what's the saying go it's something about lead lead by uh lead by actions not by words or something like that i forgot y'all leave in the comment section and tell me what the saying is i forgot but it's something like that but if we're looking at his words he says one thing but his actions another you can't say you about to help the people and then you're going to be hanging and then you hang around with nick fuentes like that doesn't make any sense bro that's contradiction you can't be saying oh yeah i'm for black people i'm for black people and then you trying to and then you trying to hang with donald trump and you hang with nick fuentes Oh, God, man. Kanye is just something else, bro. And honestly, sometimes I be getting tired of talking about him, but he's, he's, whew, he's a character all by himself. I'm going to be one with y'all. But how do y'all feel about the whole situation? Leave in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. All right. I will see y'all next time. All right. Living, living just enough.